Hello, I am Daisy Seychelles and I am part of the seventh generation of the family. Hello, I'm Benjamin Seychelles, part of the sixth generation of Chateau Anglude and we are very pleased to welcome you here at the property. Chateau Anglude is a family property that the Seychelles family bought in 1961. Uh, it's a very old property because uh, the building is from the 12th century and the vineyard is uh, here since the 17th century. Since that time, it never moved. We have 30 hectares in one block in front of the chateau. Uh, since uh, 1989, my uncle, Benjamin Seychelles, uh, is the winemaker of the property. He decided uh, 20 years ago to go with biodynamic practices. We're actually uh, waiting to be certified for the 2023 crop. What we try and do at Sangrude is to get the best balance as possible out of the vines for, of course, getting that balance as well as, as best as possible in the wine. So we work on the balance of the soil by using grassing, green covers. We add trees in the vines. Uh, to add a more element for encouraging more uh, biodiversity. There is that combination of wood and wine which can match and help the wine to gain a bigger dimension, but that can also disturb the balance that we are trying to preserve out of the amphoras. So that is why the quality of the barrel needs to match really well with a lot of uh, much needs to be very delicate. Delicate on the tannins of the wine to preserve the right balance and not disturbing what we are trying to build up. I just choose three vintages uh, to have lunch with my family. Uh, so it's uh, 10.30 now, uh, we'll have lunch at um, 12.30 uh, and um, I need to decant everything two hours before. Uh, it's very important because the decanting process, it uh, permits to reveal everything from the wine, which is very, very important to very appreciate it fully. So I just uh, opened the 2003 and I've decanted it. Um, I choose the 2003 because we recently tasted the uh, 2020 in the barrels and in the amphoras and it was actually a very warm vintage, same as 2003, which is the last heat wave, big heat wave that we had. So I just uh, wanted to put something special and because we're all uh, going to uh, blind taste the wine, it will be a fun thing to do. Uh, then 2005, because, well, 2005, who uh, don't like to drink this, uh, this, uh, this vintage right now? Uh, and 2009, because now, now it's actually very expressive, and very nice and very juicy, very charming. And this is exactly what we need just before the harvest. So uh, for lunch, uh, we'll have some tomato directly uh, cut from the, uh, from the garden. We really like to grow our own uh, vegetables uh, to, uh, to prepare this, uh, all this uh, very nice lunch. So what we're doing here is uh, we're cooking our cote de boeuf uh, on vine cuttings, uh, which are here. And, uh, uh, vine cuttings, these bunches are made from uh, the branches that are pruned off the vines during the winter. And uh, we use the uh, Cabernet Sauvignon uh, vine cuttings because it's harder wood and it uh, uh, holds, the, holds the fire a little bit longer. It's quite hot here, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, but they, they, they give the right amount of intensity in terms of, uh, uh, in terms of heat. And it's just, uh, you know, once the meat is on there, even thick cuts like these, it'll take, uh, you know, six to seven minutes, not really more than that, by flipping them a couple of times. Mm -hmm. 